If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. A gentleman who needs no introduction, but we'll formally do that anyway. Coach Matt Griffith, the head football coach and athletic director at Sylacauga High School, joins us this morning. It is graduation day over at the stadium, and uh, outside of that, ain't nothing going on, is it, Coach? No, I, <laughs> it's been a very, very uh, busy, busy spring. I guarantee it's been a busy year. It's been a very productive year. It's been a great year. Uh, and now we get to watch them graduate. And uh, how many graduates we got this year? Gosh, I, I, you know, somebody 175 oh, is wow. one of the largest groups we ever have. I think it will probably be one of the largest groups that we we, we will not see a larger group than this. Yeah. I do not think so. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of graduates for Silicon. I mean, usually we're averaging in the 150s. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a big group to go through. Yeah, and it looks like good weather, just gonna be hot and humid. Yeah, but, you know, hopefully when the sun goes down a little bit, it'll cool off. And, you know, me and you were talking before, you know, the, the one thing about the stadium, it does give everybody access. Instead of getting three to four tickets, everybody got 12 to 14 tickets. Everybody can come see their relative graduation. Can we so, cheer like at a game? Well, <laughs> you know, that may be the drawback. That's the one drawback of a stadium is, is we are so formal when we're inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get a little bit of a stadium atmosphere when you get it in the stadium. And I hope people understand that I know you want to cheer for your kid and, and – and, that that's great. I know you're proud, but but there is a somber to it. You hope, mm -hmm. and then you can really cheer at the end. And uh, a number of athletes, including on your football team, graduating tonight. They too. are. They are. That's been a you know that that, that group of kids. Well, one they, they've just won so much. Mm -hmm. You know that's the thing about it. And and uh, it's just another group of seniors going through. They they've done a good job for us. We got a lot of senior athletes going yeah. through between all our sports. So uh, it, it's always a proud moment to watch them go through. And it was a great spring sports season too. Yeah, you know what? It was one of those things. It was just a perfect storm. Mm -hmm. We have been pushing this for a while of almost hitting on those cylinders. We were very, we've been very close over the last five or six years. Mm -hmm. and, and it was just one of those magical years that you had every sport qualify for the playoffs. You know, you, you can go all the way back in the fall with, with football was the seventh year qualifying for the playoffs. Volleyball had a brand new coach and she went second round. We were very proud of Ashley Blocker. Both basketball groups, both basketball girls and boys won the area. The boys went back to the Elite Eight. And then spring was just phenomenal. You know, we, we had baseball in the semifinals, both soccers in the quarterfinals. Volleyball won the area, hosted the area tournament, won the area for the first time, and went first or second round. Uh, I, I can't leave anybody out. Golf boys yep. qualified and went all the way. They finished third in the state. Tennis boys qualified and went to state. Uh, Tremendous year. Tremendous. Very, very proud of our coaches and very proud of our kids. As athletic director, uh, you try to have your hand in all this, trying to make sure that uh, you can get to as many of those games and matches as you can. I, I went to a golf banquet last night, and it was my fourth in five or six days. <laughs> it's probably my eighth banquet. But you know what? That That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I, I love seeing those other kids and, and – and those kids are just as proud of their sport as anybody. And uh, it, it, we're very fortunate to be at Sylacauga and offer as many things mm -hmm. as we do and to be so successful in all those things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it was exciting. And they're student athletes. You know, that's exactly what they are, student oh, athletes. absolutely, absolutely. And if you went to our, our honors, whatever, the, uh, the, the award ceremony, you saw how many millions of scholarships oh, were yeah. given away to our kids. So... So, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's just a good thing. The Silicaga is still strong. The community still strong. The school still strong. And, and we're very proud to be Aggies. Well, spring camp just ended for your football team. It did. It did. And uh, we had a wonderful spring. We finished up with 60 kids, which is really good for us, 10th through 12th. We've got another 25 to 26 ninth graders coming in this summer. Uh, very productive, only to get eight days in. You mm -hmm. get 10, but we got eight because I canceled – we had a rain out, and then I canceled practice, and at the time, we were in the quarterfinals, and I felt strong enough that I wanted our kids to go watch our baseball mm -hmm. team play in the quarterfinals. And that's another thing that people don't understand, that uh, that we, whether a kid plays football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever, 
it is a very much Aggies. It's very much we're going to be in full support mm -hmm. of everybody. So we canceled practice. We all went to the ball game, and uh, we were fortunate enough to win that quarterfinal game. And uh, But we got eight days in. We finished up with a spring game against uh, Briarwood. We were very, very pleased at how well we played. And uh, now it's into the summer. You know, the summer starts June 4th for us. We'll go three days a week. And, and our coaching staff is very, very excited about this bunch of kids. Uh what did you glean out of the spring that can help you going into summer and fall workouts? Well, for, for probably the first time since I've been here, we've made a conscious effort that we're going to put the best kids on the field regardless. We're going to have about four go both ways. You know, we have sat back over the last two or three years and we're watching 5A schools take kids like Clay Central and Mortimer Jordan and the center points and the Winonas and these people that are going deep in the playoffs and at, at the end of the day, they're putting their best kids mm -hmm. on the field. They're not just totally two platoon in the way we've always tried to be. So we made a conscious effort, and it immediately made us better. And we're better up front than we've been in a long time on the offense and defensive fronts. So, uh, you know, we're pleased. J.D. Deloach, good spring? Had a great spring. J.D.'s that smart, knows the offense since the seventh grade, good manager of the game. We expect a lot of a lot of things out Fantastic. of Fantastic. Uh, Coach Matt Griffith, our guest this morning on Daybreak Live. Uh, graduation day is today, of course, tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting set for fall workouts. What are spring, uh, I get to it, summer workouts. So what does that entail? Well, yeah, the biggest thing is, is you give these kids, they have, they came in for their final, which went in, in, in my final in football was to come in and work out. Mm -hmm. And they got their summer workout. They've had, when they come back June 4th, about a couple weeks off. And they need it. They, they, it's a grind. They'll come in June 4th. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're, we're heavy core in the weight room and go outside. And we literally run through a mini scale practice. You can do anything you want to do with a helmet in the summer now. Wow. And so on Wednesdays, we'll come in. The weights will be a little longer, and we'll use that for our conditioning. You know, and the biggest thing that I told the coaches right before the break is that we, we, we've got to be in tremendous shape. You know, I, from day one, we've got to be in tremendous shape. You know, we've got two or three front guys going both ways. We've got a running back that can be tremendous that's going to have to play some strong mm -hmm. safety. Our kids going to have to be in shape. All coaching staff so far so good for the so, ball? Well, so far so good. You know, we're looking at a couple of things that may or may not happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody knows that our boys' basketball sure. job is open. And so that will be a thing in these next two to three weeks that we'll go through that process. And we're going to miss Will. You know, we'll miss his family. Sure. Uh, I mean, bought a house, sold in, and, and brought a state championship here. But I, I tell you something, we're also very proud for him. We're proud of, it, it's almost like when Coach Zedeker went to Lincoln. You know, we're proud that we've got people in our business that other people won't. And, and for him to go up there, it was a tremendous pay raise. It was an opportunity to go back to where he was born sure. and raised from. And so, I mean, we wish him the best. We'll always, he'll always be an Aggie for mm -hmm. us. Um, and, and I think some, we've got some folks on our staff right now that have those kind of opportunities because we're being so successful and the, and the programs have been successful for a long time. What is the uh, process that you go through as far as uh, uh, selecting a new basketball yeah. coach? Well, that's a great that's a great question. I've been asked that a bunch over the last couple of weeks. We'll we'll go through the same process that we did when we hired Coach Bell in baseball. Uh, it's been very similar that when we hired Coach Copeland in mm -hmm. basketball. Uh, we did not have that process kind of in place when we hired Coach Golden. Uh, that was done just between me and the principal. Mm -hmm. And uh, But what, what we like to do here now is that process, we'll think there'll be 40 or 50 applicants at least. It's a good job. And we'll whittle that down to about 10. Me and the principal will interview those 10. We'll get it down to a top three and then we will send that top three to the superintendent, and then we'll sit down after those interviews with our superintendent, and us three will come to agreement of who is the best fit and who's the best man for the job. Right. That, that, that's, and that process takes a while. People are going to be impatient. But look, we've got a good basketball staff. Coach Smith, that we brought in two or three years ago, is a tremendous basketball coach, very good coach around. He is going to run everything until mm -hmm. we get in that process. 
Uh, coach Hollenquist has been a head coach at, at Alex City. He's been a head coach at Tallahassee. He's going to help Coach Smith. And, and then you got Coach Jones, who is the main assistant, but Coach is working another job. He will be very much involved mm -hmm. this summer with the kids as we go to play dates. So our kids are going to constantly be in work as we go through this. All right. Uh Another moment or two with Coach Matt Griffith, the head football coach and athletic director at Siliconga High School. People often ask, well, what do coaches do in the summer? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about all coaches. I know what I have to do. So, uh, you know, I, I basically, anything inside that fence, I take care of. Uh, that is my responsibility. Uh, that includes the, the soccer game field and what we call the utility mm -hmm. field and all that surrounding area. I'll be taking care of that uh, until about mid-October. And then, uh, you know, David DeWeese will probably take that right. over again when that goes in there. But that's my responsibility about mid-October. I talked to Dave. David's going to help me out. The, 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 that's not hard to do in the summer. I've got a lot of time to do it. It's hard when, when the season starts. Uh, but we will have an entire staff up there doing workouts with me the entire time. You know, I, I listen to Coach Bell. He'll have his kids up there at a certain time. Basketball will have their kids up there. Coach Crawford has his kid. Ashley Blocker will have volleyball. Listen, we got about a couple weeks of nobody doing anything. And then come June 4th, <laughs> it, it's packed again. It's kids, mm -hmm. it's coaches, it's in and out. And uh, you, you just don't stop. Yep. Clock ticking towards Maybe. August. Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. Coach Matt Griffith, our guest this morning. Have a great summer and look forward to seeing you in the fall. Good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate All it. Right. Coach Matt Griffith, the athletic director and head football coach, Siliconga High School, We're kind of recapping spring sports and getting us set to go for summer workouts and summer vacation. Back when we're more day break right after this.